Welcome to Down Twisted Tales. <laughs> Are you ready for another story? What's the big deal, man? It's just a damn house. This is the house! Can you imagine what everyone is going to say when we tell them we did it? Just think, if we find something that belonged to him, how much money we can make. There's nothing left in there. I don't care if we find anything or not, I just want to see it. I want to see the room where he killed his sister. There is seriously something fucking wrong with you. Look, are we going to do this or not? Cops pass by here every 15 minutes on Halloween. They know kids are always trying to break in, so if we're going to do it, we have to do it now. Well, alright, how are we going to get in? Okay. Let's go. Holy shit! This is it. This is where he grabbed the knife. This is the drawer right here. How the hell do you know that? A police report. He took the knife and he went through the dining room that way. Do you guys really believe the story? That he can't be killed? It's bullshit. Some guy puts on a mask and kills some people and everyone in town says, Oh, Michael Myers. I, I don't know, man. They say he's killed over 20 people in every Halloween. No matter what, he comes back here to this house to revisit where it all happened, to relive his sister's death. So what, you think he's here right now? Stalking us in the dark? Damn, you're such a pussy. The only thing that might be stalking us are some fucking rats. This is it. This is where his sister was sitting, right here. And he came up on her and stabbed her. Guys, there's all kinds of police over at the Myers house. Someone probably broke in. Stupid assholes do it every year. <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot of cuffs for just a break in. Ah, they're probably sick of it, making a big show. Hi, right, Sam, will you get over here and sit on the sofa? I've been waiting six months to watch this season premiere. Ain't nothing in the world gonna make me miss this. God 
damn it. <laughs> Does the DBF still work if the lights go out? I don't know. I'll get some candles. They're in the kitchen drawer next to the fridge. Can you grab me a Coke while you're up? Well, this is just great. How long do you think they're going to be off? I'm sure they'll be back on in an hour or two. Damn. Joe is stolen out there. Tina? You all right now? You're not breaking stuff, are you? Hey, what's going on? <gasps> oh, oh my god, we gotta call the police! We gotta... He's dead? I... I killed Michael Myers? Ma'am, there's nobody in that hallway. She's gonna be okay? She's in shock. Stab wound in her leg. She's gonna be alright. She took a beating though. Okay, once I wrap up here, I'll be down to the hospital. Two more inside, Sheriff. God damn it. Do you think it's him? Do you think it's Michael? Don't you even say that name, them nuts. I want men on every fucking corner. Whoever did this could not have gotten far. The goddamn blood is still warm. She set him on fire for Christ's sakes. He can't be that hard to find. Hey, hey, just relax, okay? You're in the ambulance. We'll be to the hospital before you know it. You're gonna be okay. I... I set him on fire. His mask. It melted. He was still alive. He wasn't dead. Who? M Michael Myers. It was like... <sighs> Holy shit! You don't think it could really be him, do you? No way. It could have been anyone. I don't know. Did you see those kids? And three more in the Myers house? Well, I mean, look, say it was him. He spent most of his life in a mental hospital. It's not like anyone ever taught him to drive. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. You're right. I'm just being stupid. Still gives me the heebie-jeebies, though. I need three men over at the street, and then... Sheriff, I got someone here who wants to talk to you. I'm a little busy right now, Shapiro. He says he's Sam Loomis's kid. What? Look, pal, I don't have any time for any Halloween pranks right now. I phoned the hospital, Sheriff. Checks out. He's legit. Oh, shit. You can call me John. Okay, John. What exactly can I do for you? 
a little busy. You know, murder and carnage, that kind of stuff. Sheriff, listen to me very carefully. You know what's happening here. Michael don't Myers. Say it. God damn it, listen to me because we don't have time for this. My father came here 30 years ago and nobody believed him. How many people died? Michael Myers is here, Sheriff, tonight. And if you want to stop him this time, if you want to keep more people from dying, then listen to me and believe me. Myers is back in your town, and he is going to kill anyone and everyone who gets in his way unless you help me. What do you want me to do? I have six units out right now canvassing the area. I have all the streets blocked off in a 40 mile radius. It doesn't matter, Sheriff. If you want to catch him, then we have to catch up to that ambulance. Get as many people as you have here and go after that girl. The ones you have out there right now, you get them to whatever hospital they're taking her to. So you want us to abandon everyone else in town? Okay, Loomis, why not? I'll tell you what, you and me will escort the ambulance. Shapiro, meet us at the hospital. We have to take my car, Sheriff. What? Why? I'll explain on the way. Just trust me. Goddamn Michael Myers fucking Halloween bullshit. If you turn out to be crazy, and you're pulling my dick, I'm gonna throw you in the fucking can for the rest of your life. You okay? No. Everyone good? What the hell happened? Some mania ran us off the road. Unstrap me. I don't know if that's a good Unstrap idea. Unstrap me. All right, all right, all right. Okay. I'll get us some backup, right? <laughs> Come on, motherfucker, come on! Hey, hey, it's okay, it's alright. No, 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 you don't understand, he's after me. Who's after you? It's Michael Myers. All right, honey, you call the sheriff right now. Where are you going? I'm gonna go get my rifle. So Loomis' son, huh? That's right. I saw him once when I was a kid. He seemed like a pretty intense man. I saw him yelling about Myers. Standing in the street like a madman. Myers was his obsession. You could say Michael was more of a son to him than I was. He spent more time thinking about that monster than he ever did spending time with me. I resented him for a long time. Until I got older and became a psychiatrist myself. One day I decided to look into the case. I looked over my father's notes, read his journals. And? Michael Myers isn't a man, Sheriff. My father was right. What Myers is, what he represents, it isn't anything mankind can wrap their head around. Okay. Say I believe you. Why come back now? I mean, his entire family has moved on, most of them have changed their names and went into hiding. What the hell does he want? While I was doing my research, I came across a little-known excerpt from an interview. The mother of one of the victims, and another from Michael Myers' father. What are you talking about? Michael Myers' father had an affair, Sheriff. He cheated on his wife. 
He cheated on his wife and had an illegitimate child. Wait, what? Myers had a half-brother. He grew up, had a daughter, and she's in that ambulance right now. That's who he's going after. That's his target. Holy shit. My entire life, Myers has hung over me and my family like a shadow. He's been part of me just as much as he has this town. My father died because of Myers. I'm here to end it. Once and for all. The reason we had to take my car is because in my trunk, I have a little something that will put an end to Myers. Put an end to him forever. Well, what is it? Some kind of secret amulet or something? Something like that. Yes, she's here right now. Don't worry, the door's locked. Larry's getting the shotgun right now. Please hurry. Okay, the Calvary's on the way. Don't you worry, none. We're gonna be just fine. Don't you worry, none. Any minute now, the police are going to come charging down that driveway. You'll see. Any minute. Come here, girl. Hello, Michael. In a weird, fucked up way, I feel like you're my brother. This is for our father, you son of a bitch! Goodbye, Michael. A flamethrower? It was the best I could think of. So, what do we do with her? Change her name and get her as far away from Haddonfield as you can. Well, so far they've only found two bodies. What do we do if he's not in there? If he somehow survived all of that... Well, then I guess I'll see you next Halloween. <laughs>